Hi, my name is Alex Martin, and with me is Mark Zakowski, Principal Data Scientist at General Mills. Today, we'll talk about AutoML and tabular data. Most of enterprise data today is structured data, stored in the many complex tables of data lakes and databases. Most of AI applications in the world are also on structured data. These applications cover many, many different business problems from risk management and marketing to resource allocation and demand forecasting. However, most of these problems tend to map into just a few types of machine learning tasks, namely regression, classification, and a subcase of regression for sequential data forecasting. Recently, like in many other fields, there was quite a bit of progress made with applying deep learning methods in these tasks. And so today, many data scientists spend most of their days applying the latest and greatest ML software packages and platforms in these three core areas. And when it comes to offering this on Vertex, historically, we gave you two options. Option one is our renowned AutoML offerings, namely AutoML tables and AutoML forecasts. These are standalone end-to-end -end products. They're easy to use, and they abstract quite a bit. Basically, data comes in, an algorithm does some magical work, and boom, a really good model comes out. No surprise that the most common problems with AutoML products have been lack of transparency and lack of flexibility. Option two is custom training. This option is not at all specific to tabular data, actually. Customers has to basically engineer everything and at a very low level. A pipeline for data prep and cleansing, a pipeline for feature engineering to encode categories and extract embeddings, a pipeline for model training to evaluate different models, hyperparameters, maybe some assembling too. The teams need to connect these pipelines together, resolve dependencies, resolve conflicts, maintain versions. They would probably end up learning about distributed computing and many more exciting things. In fact, most of this development is not at all data science. It's a mix of data science, traditional engineering, and MLOps. So custom training users suffer from too much complexity and too high of maintenance costs. They really want to empower their data scientists to do end-to-end -end workflows. But inevitably, they end up growing large multidisciplinary teams. As you've guessed, both of these options want to converge somewhere in the middle. If only these ML tools could be opinionated, yet flexible. Flexible, yet easy to use. Easy to use, but scalable to data sets with terabytes of data. Well, that is why I'm really excited to introduce Tabula workflows. These are integrated, fully managed, scalable pipelines for end-to-end -end model development with tabular data. Think of it as a specialist tool bag with a variety of advanced tabular data tools to help you build the best-in-class models. As of today, these are tools like end-to-end -end AutoML, managed algorithms, including some bleeding-edge research models like TabNet and TFT, feature search scalable to datasets with tens of thousands of features, and a feature transformation engine with pre-built, low-latency feature transformations which are consistent between training and serving. Now, what's important is these are not standalone products or black box APIs. These are Lego blocks ready to be used by you and your teams to assemble into scalable production grade pipelines. All of these workflows are built on top of Vertex managed pipelines. So they come in with built in versioning and many integrations with the rest of the Vertex portfolio. They're also transparent. You can open any of the pipeline graphs and inspect each of the execution components see the data that went in and the artifacts which came out. And they're flexible too. You can easily remove or swap any of the components to any other made by Google or even by your own team. And I do want to double click on that last point because having reusable components means we're dramatically expanding the number of tabular data use cases on Vertex AI. For example, when we needed a model for low latency applications, we did not introduce an entire linear architecture. Instead, we added a distillation component to the familiar AutoML workflow. Or take the feature search workflow. You can use it with the TabNet pipeline and train it on datasets which contain hundreds of thousands of features. This is just our ideas, really. And we're eager to see what kind of workflows you end up creating with your own blocks. AutoML and tabular data workflows can dramatically accelerate your ML process. AutoML will help automate repetitive tasks and save time for your team to work on many more mo models in parallel. It is flexible enough to build really advanced workflows with many steps, and it is transparent and easy to understand. Lastly, it deeply integrates with the rest of Vertex. 
We designed it to significantly increase the rate of experimentation in your data science teams and allow them to ship many more models into production. There are a number of pre-made workflows already available and with many more coming soon. We started by decomposing the popular AutoML tables product. It now supports one terabyte size data sets, ability to select architectures or to skip architecture search entirely. Perhaps you want to save on retraining costs or improve stability. And as you know, the AutoML ensembles can get pretty heavy. So we also added a distillation component to improve model latency. For those interested in the Google research work, we added a fully managed tabnet training workflow, which includes feature transformations and performance optimizations from the researchers who developed these models. On the feature engineering front, we added powerful feature engineering tools for feature search and transformations, which easily scale to terabyte size data sets. There are multiple other workflows coming soon with open source and proprietary models, which we'll talk about later. Oh, and we do continue to invest in our APIs too. Our Hero AutoML product, Vertex AI Forecast, is successfully exiting previous stage and becoming generally available. It is not only accurate, but now explainable too. We've added multiple new modeling options, which can improve training time and performance on smaller data sets. We're also the only large-scale forecasting service which supports hierarchical forecasting methods. So you can simultaneously optimize between multiple objectives. In fact, this feature was actively used by one of our early adopters, Lowe's Home Improvement. They have a large catalog of products and were able to balance between SKU and store-level forecasts in over 1,700 stores nationwide. It is really exciting to see large retailers adopting Vertex forecasts and dramatically improving their accuracy metrics. And speaking of large retailers, it is my pleasure to welcome Mark Zakowski. His team has been one of my favorite customers and frankly, one of the most advanced forecasting operations I've seen in CPG. Really excited to hear his perspective. Mark, could you please introduce yourself and talk about data science at General Mills? Thanks, Alex. It's great to be here with all of you. At General Mills, our purpose is making food the world loves. We have more than 100 brands that are enjoyed by people in more than 100 markets globally. Brands like Cheerios, Nature Valley, Old El Paso, Yoplait, Annie's, Betty Crocker, and Hagen dazs with our eight largest brands, each generating more than $1 billion annually. I work as the principal data scientist within our digital and technology organization. We are a global data science team made up of more than 50 data scientists located in the US and India. It's a collaborative, innovative, passionate, and fun group of people to work with. And we were recently recognized by Forbes as one of the fastest growing AI teams. All right, and I'm sure I'm not alone in saying that Hagen does is one of my favorite brands. Thank you for keeping the ice cream available. So why did you choose Vertex AI? Was it easy to get started? Vertex AI has been really easy to get started with, and its usability was one of the key reasons we selected it as our AI platform. In addition to usability, we selected Vertex AI for its ability to meet the scale of our work as we deliver models on billions of records. MLOps is also a critical area of focus for us to be able to deliver new functionality more often while still ensuring it's secure and reliable. Vertex AI has the MLOps mindset at its core with its native support for GitHub, containers, workflow orchestration, and CI CD tooling aligning well with our needs. All right, yeah, the boring part of ML. Only those who ship models in production are excited about orchestrations and CI CD tooling. So, what role does AutoML play in this workflow? Um, there's three ways that we use AutoML. First, AutoML helps us to test the feasibility of a model. We can quickly determine how difficult it'll be to meet accuracy or reasonability expectations. Second, AutoML has improved the speed at which we can experiment with adding new data sources to models by 25%. Along the way, we found we better understand the quality of the data through the built-in data profiling and feature contribution capabilities. Third, we leverage AutoML in our production workflows. Generally, we stick with AutoML where a good enough model is all that's needed. Other times, it's one of the models in an ensemble. We find in certain business scenarios, AutoML has provided better accuracy than other modeling techniques. I agreed. Well, AutoML technology is mature, and I see them break out from being beginner's tools. There's many more advanced teams relying on it too now. So what advice would you give to data scientists as they are adopting managed ML platforms? 
I'd say if the type of analytic problem you're working on can be solved by AutoML or a managed algorithm, just start there. AutoML enables you to quickly assess whether a model is likely to meet your business objectives. In many situations, you'll find the accuracy meets business requirements with very little effort. And since AutoML is tightly integrated with Vertex AI, you can quickly deploy the model and begin to deliver value while you continue to iterate on any needed improvements. Also, if you end up needing to custom develop a model, much of the analytic workflow can be reused, speeding development. Mark, that was great. I love being able to contribute to your AI transformation journey in General Mills. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the summit.